at sunrise.com, whrb.org, all radio.org, iTunes, shoutcast, or radio time, or on your digital radio at 89.5, whrb, hd2, alt radio. You know, we like to do acoustic sessions on the show. This one is being brought to you with generous support from Carol Butler at Pembroke Title. Pembroke Title is your real estate resource. And we are on the road here today. We're at uh, the North Shore Point House Concert Series here to talk with Eva Donovan. Eva, how are you? I'm good, Hunter. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome, welcome to the show. What would you like to play for us first before we get to talking? We're going to play uh, a song that I think was recently, it's sort of like my current song that I'm pitching these days. I just made a new music video for this one. It's coming out next week. Ooh. It's a song from my new record in the Magic Hour. It's called Porch Light. Great. Here is Eva O'Donovan here on Hunter at Sunrise. nostalgia going on in the in the lyrics and in the music and uh, partially inspired by my childhood in Ireland sort of just doing what kids do running around on the beach and uh, also just inspired by you know just the feelings you get of growing older and looking back on your childhood with just a sense of longing yeah, you went to a place called Clona Kilty a lot. Clona Kilty. Clona Kilty. Yes, exactly. Uh, what's what, what's that like? You know, it's just it's you know it's a kind of typical Irish town. It's a it's a beautiful town, right on the coast, and you can kind of go. There's it's 
It's on a little, the little peninsula of West Cork, and you can walk out to the beach, Inchidani Beach, which is a beautiful beach uh, divided in half by this sort of jet of land called the Virgin Mary's Bank. And that's where my dad grew up and where um, my grandparents, my grandmother still lives, my grandfather lived until his death, and right. it's a beautiful town. He passed recently, I mm -hmm. A couple years ago, yeah. He, he had 27 grandchildren. He did. That's pretty impressive, right? That is impressive. <laughs> And, and he, you actually hear his voice on the record. You do. I flew in a recording of him singing a gorgeous old rebel ballad called The West's Awake uh, during the, my track Donal Ogue, which is another traditional folk song. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, you hear his voice kind of come in. It's a really Broadway. spacey song, <laughs> Donal Ogue. You wrote that? No, no, no. That's an old, an old folk song. An old yeah. folk song. Yeah, well, I love that one. It's very interesting. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. Um, now, you did a lot of work before this. This is your second solo disc on Yep Rock Records, mm -hmm. but you've also done other solo work, correct? I've done, I've done a lot of collaborative work over the years. I have toured with a band uh, for many years called Crooked Still. Oh, yes. And uh, maybe you've, you've heard us on yes, the radio. Yes, we've played we play Crooked Still. <laughs> uh, and we, we were a full-time touring band for, for quite some time. We stopped hitting the road back in 2011. And uh, that's when I kind of got to work on my solo stuff. And, and throughout the years, I've done work with Garrison Keillor uh, right. often. I've uh, done a bunch of work with Sarah Watkins and Sarah Jarose on a band called I'm With Her. And yes, as a matter of fact, I spoke with uh, Sarah Jarose a year ago. Oh, wow, great. Before you went on tour with her in Europe. How did that tour go? It was so much fun. We, yeah. we managed to find green smoothies in almost every town in Europe. <laughs> You're a big green smoothie fan? I am. Yeah. Well, uh, Can you tell? so it went very well. Where did you go? <laughs> we went to Sweden, we went to Spain, and then we went to the UK and then finished up in Ireland. It was a blast. Well, she was very excited about <laughs> the whole trip. And I'm sure you guys had a great time. We had so much fun. It's a great name, too. I'm with her. It's also the campaign slogan for Millery. <laughs> Is it? We were thinking about calling our band Feel the Burn, but it didn't really have quite the same. <laughs> Who same came up name. with the name I'm with her? Sarah Watkins. Oh, she did. Yeah, she's she's quite the feisty, smart one. <laughs> well, um, you mentioned that you are going to be on Prairie Home Companion again. So. I am, yeah. And actually, next weekend, I'm going to be on Prairie Home Companion. It's being co-hosted with Garrison and Chris Thiele, right, who's Chris uh, somebody else who I've gotten to work with a bunch over the years. I'm looking forward to that. And then uh, three more Prairie Home Companions uh, before Garrison kind of hangs it up. Yeah. And his last show at the Hollywood Bowl, so that's going to be fun. What's it like working that show? It sounds like it just, uh, it's a lot of producing behind the scenes and suddenly it just comes together in one spontaneous it, thing. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. If you've ever seen the movie, um, it really is like that. There's the, the people who work on that show, the producer, the director, all the sort of the people running around handing out lyrics, um, right, making changes to the scripts, the actors on that show, Tim Russell, Sue Scott, and Fred Newman. It's, there, it's a, a bunch of brilliant minds together creating this crazy piece of radio yeah. that lasts, you know, one hour and 59 minutes. And whether or not you're into it, you have to acknowledge that it is, it is a pretty pretty large feat to pull off. How did you get involved with the show? I first uh, got involved with the show through my friend Heather Massey, oh, yeah. who was a singer at the Whalen Jennings, and she uh, recommended me, and it sort of went from there. Oh, well, cool. Yeah. We're talking with Eve about Donovan here on Hunter at Sunrise. What else would you like to play for us? So I just want to also um, take a minute to acknowledge my... Killer oh, band gosh, up God, here. I all yeah. About that. Please introduce. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're so amazing. I've gotten to tour with these guys since the record came out, and we'll be on the road for the rest of the summer. We're coming back to Virginia a couple times. We're playing just down the road at Bruce Hornsby's Funhouse Fest. Really? Yeah. Where is that? It's in place? Colonial Williamsburg. Oh wow. Yeah. So that's going to be on June 26th. They're playing there. We're really excited about that. Yeah. And then uh, we're playing in Mount Solon, Virginia, at Red Wing Roots Festival. Right. And all the while, I'll be joined by the incredible Steve. Nister from Detroit, Michigan on the drums. Yes, and very nice looking drums, by the way. And a nice looking drummer. That's what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's, what, that's what Denise, my producer, would say. Go on. And, um, and on the guitar, he's also a very nice looking man <laughs> with a very nice looking guitar. That's Anthony DaCosta from Austin, Texas. Yeah. He's playing guitar and singing gorgeous background vocals. And uh, yeah, for our last tune here on the air, we'll play a song it's kind of a duet. It's one that I wrote with Sarah Jarose, who, um, who, you know, the role of Sarah Jarose is now being played by Anthony DeCosta. <laughs> so, it's called Hornets. It's from the new record. Thanks so much, Hunter. No problem. Here's Evo Donovan on her. It's on us. Part of 29 
Songwriter Festival Emerging Artist Contest. Andy Geels will be on the show. Thank you so much for listening today. You've been listening to Hunter at Sunrise here on 89.5 WHRB HD2 Alt Radio, Norfolk, Virginia, and HunterAtSunrise.com.